fraction. This module will explain the basics of fraction. One day, Swati ordered a pizza. She was joined by two more friends, Sarla and Mahima. They decided to share the pizza equally. So, if we divide the pizza in the way shown here, each of them gets an equal share of the pizza. Thus, one pizza is divided in three parts and each one of them gets a part out of three. So, each of them gets one third of the pizza. Fractions are part of a whole. The top part of a fraction is called the numerator, while the bottom part of a fraction is called the denominator. The denominator states how many total parts the whole has been divided into. The numerator states how many of those parts are being represented by the fraction. If a figure is divided into equal parts, then fraction for the shaded portion is number of the shaded parts upon the total number of parts. Example, can the following shape be represented by fraction? Explanation Since the shape is divided in unequal parts, it cannot be represented as a fraction. We can also represent fractions on number line. Let us represent 1 upon 3 on the number line. Step 1. Draw a straight line. Mark 0 and 1 on it. Step 2. Since the denominator is 3, divide the gap between 0 and 1 in 3 equal parts. Step 3. Mark the first point as 1 upon 3. Example, draw 4 upon 5 on the number line. Explanation, step 1. Draw a straight line. Mark 0 and 1 on it. Step 2. Since the denominator is 5, divide the gap between 0 and 1 in 5 equal parts. Step 3. Mark the points as 1 upon 5, 2 upon 5, 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5. Thus we get the point 4 upon 5 on the number line. 